Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watch One. Thanks for logging on. Today we're looking at the Breitling Emergency Super Quartz. You can see this 43mm titanium rescue beacon watch on our website, watchyouwant.com. Purchase it there. And if you enjoy these videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Watch You Want Inc. You can also click on the card in the upper right hand corner of this video at any time to see our full listing for this watch with additional high res photographs accessories included, and naturally complete pricing information. Now on my wrist, six and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference, the Emergency Super Quartz is a very large watch. Now this is not a function of style so much as substance, which is refreshing in the era of the cosmetic, quote, tool watch. This is no fashion watch masquerading as utility. It's the real thing with a emergency locator beacon featuring a range of 100 miles or 160 kilometers. This is the real thing, life-saving gear. The broadcasting beacon itself is actually built by Dassault in France, and the watch is constructed by Breitling. Misuse this one and you are facing a hefty fine. But the bottom line is on the wrist, it's not so hefty. Titanium wears light and it has the professional titanium bracelet, professional one titanium. So you can see the symmetrical non-slash cut three link design. This is a very comfortable watch. In every respect, although it's big, it's also broad. So it spreads its mass nicely across the wrist. Now it is fairly thick, 15.5 millimeters from the bottom of the case to the top of the sapphire, but it's by no means the thickest in the class. Now it is broad from lug to lug, however, when you count the solid end pieces of the bracelet itself, you wind up with a span of approximately 57.5 millimeters from one side to the other, but it doesn't feel as though it wears that large on the wrist. The bracelet is very supple, and as you can see, there's good spacing between the links to allow ventilation and aeration of the wrist. So this is one that's easy to wear on a hot day. Not only does it conduct heat away from the wrist, but there's absolutely no problem with trapped heat, sweat, moisture, or grit. Moreover, the watch features a very robust single deployant with secure clamshell closure. It's simple, handsome, gets the job done, and provides a rather analog counterpart to a very digitized timepiece. Now what you're looking at is a combination of the emergency transmitter and Breitling's caliber 76 thermocompensated super quartz movement. It is one of the very few quartz calibers that is also a COSC certified Swiss chronometer. Now you can see as I cycle through the functions, you can discern all of the secondary functions of that caliber 76. Now they're displayed on the digital scale. There is an analog scale at center, so you can read the watch however you please. It is fully luminescent, so when you do turn off the light, you can see all the stations of the hours as well as the hour and minute hand. But you see, you have the digital time available. As you turn the crown in quick flicks, you can deactivate digital time. You can bring back the alarm function, and you see the alarm function can be set for any time of day. The watch also features a chronograph. So if you want to use it as a chronograph, you can simultaneously display the current time at center while reading off the elapsed chronograph time. Stop it and reset. Moving on to the secondary functions, you have a second time zone. Now the second time zone can be cycled between 24 hour and 12 hour formats, depending on your preference. Pilots are probably gonna to wanna to leave this one in 24 hour, perhaps even set it to Greenwich Mean Time. Now as you continue to cycle, other functions, not just the alarm, but a true countdown alarm are offered. So you can actually set a certain interval of time, say two and a half hours, three and a half hours, and the alarm will sound when the timer reaches that point. Now the watch does feature a calendar, which is neither a simple calendar nor a true perpetual, rather it's a four-year calendar. So once every four years, or as Breitling prefers to call it in Breitling speak, 1,461 days, it does require correction, otherwise it features convenient perpetual calendar indications through everything but the turn of the leap year cycle. Moreover, if you like to have analog time, but constant seconds included, there is a rather quirky date and constant seconds viewing window where you can have the date visible and also have constant seconds to supplement the analog hours and minutes at center. Now the watch is 30 meters water resistant and what lies within is just a little bit more complex than that 
remarkably efficient, remarkably accurate Super Quartz thermocompensated caliber 76. You can see that there is true aerospace hardware in here, and it is no joke. The Breitling Emergency can be and has been used to rescue people in peril. Now, you don't have to be an aviator to use it legally. If you've fallen off your offshore boat, if you're trapped with your leg under a rock in the woods, much less that guy who cut off his arm with a pocket knife, Activate the emergency. No one's going to hold it against you. And Breitling does sort of make celebrities out of those who legally and ethically use the emergency to escape peril. So who knows, you might just get a new watch out of it. But you can buy this one, the Breitling Emergency Super Quartz, 43 millimeters in titanium, on our website, watchyouwant.com.